YouTube. Today I'll be showing you my homemade phonograph that I made for fun. So before I get into this, I would like to share a little history about the phonograph. Well, it was made in 1877 by Thomas Alva Edison, uh, the famous inventor who also made the light bulb, and he did this in a, an attempt to reproduce sound from a recording that was made by vibrations on tinfoil after being etched on with a stylus. So he did this by making a reproducer which would allow the stylus to vibrate as it is going over the grooves that were previously recorded so it can play back sound. And he was obviously very successful and he profited from this. But I'm here just to make a reproduction, a homemade reproduction of the phonograph. And today I, I will not be uh, showing you how it works because I don't have the material, but as soon as I get that, I will uh, make a recording and uh, show myself using this correctly. But I'm just going to go over what all the parts are on here that I uh, made to make this work. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with the reproducer and a uh, place where you record. So right here, as you can see, this is a metal tin can. And the stylus here is nothing more than a sewing needle hot glued to the can. And I also made this uh, little hinge almost out of cardboard, simple. And what this allows to do is when you're speaking into this, the vibrations from your vocal cords g travel and hit the can, and which will make the can start to vibrate, which will also send the vibrations to the needle. And then while you're recording over tin foil or aluminum tape, the needle will in inscribe vibrations of your voice onto the tinfoil, which then can be played back by rewinding and placing a needle on, to on top of it and playing it again. So, yep, this is the reproducer, and I'm going to show you the handle. It's still a work in progress, but it does its basic function. So when I turn uh, this, it will turn a rod, which is connected by... Uh, four nuts into these hinges which will allow the rod to be set down nice and evenly uh, to the left side and right here is the cylinder it's the place where I'm gonna put all the uh, tin foil aluminum tape and then this is hot glued to the rod which will also send the cylinder down while this is being turned and right here, this is the counterbalance. I just made just a uh, wooden circle, basically, nice and thick. My friend also helped me build this, so shout out to him. He knows who he is. And um, right here, as you can see, this is just a basically a pin and a small hinge. So I, when I want to put more aluminum tinfoil or aluminum tape, uh, I just slide the needle in while this is pulled back so it holds it in place so I can put the tin foil, aluminum, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, I hope you guys benefit from this and maybe make a better model than I have, but this was all for fun and science, yeah, it was, it was really fun to make and I, I enjoy using it, but I'll definitely, as soon as I get the tin foil or aluminum tape, whichever comes first, I will definitely make a video on it showing you what it sounds like. But thank you, YouTube, for watching. You know, please rate, subscribe. You know, all that stuff. But thank you. Have a nice day.